Stadium in New Jersey. This is Madden NFL 21. see Sam Darnold and the New York Jets taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Buffalo Bills. what is underway here on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bills make their way out, led by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. At 24 years of age, it's Josh Allen. Well, what do we ask about players in this league? We ask them to improve from year to year, and Josh Allen did exactly that from his rookie year to year number two. Doubled his touchdown passes from 10 to 20. One of the better running quarterbacks in the league at nine touchdown runs. That gives him 17 in his first two seasons. This guy gets better and better and absolutely loves the game of football. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Singletary. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. It's a game That's a really seven. nice job by them picking up the run three. blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. It's a gain of a good run on first down, followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Well, they get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. First down, Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. 
Something looked weird there up front. The offensive linemen, I, it looks like they weren't on the same page. Yeah, every play design has a huge element of trust that everyone's going to do their job. But if one person does it and you have a breakdown, everything goes to rubble. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. They'll roll him out right. He may try and run for this. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The USC product, Sam Darnold, the number three overall pick in 2018, ready to go. Here's the Jets take over on offense. Year three now of Sam Darnold being the starting quarterback with the New York Jets. And as you might expect, some ups and downs along the way. That's what happens with young quarterbacks. Last year, 19 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, had to play through some sickness and injury. But the Jets really believe in this guy and showed it by upgrading their offensive line in order to get him more protection moving forward. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And here's the game's number three all-time rusher, Frank Gore. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Darnold from the gun. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Steps away to his left. He's got room to run past the 20. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it and brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. On fourth down, rookie Braden Mann will punt for the Jets. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach 
can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A gain of six there on first. A six-yard Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and four coming up. To throw again on second down. Allen, that's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 43-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. From the gun, it's Allen, and he's able to find Diggs. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. And there's a catch there by Stephon Diggs, and he is dangerous whether you throw the ball to him short or you target him downfield for the big plays. Average nearly 18 yards per catch. That ranked fourth in the league last season. He is elusive and tough to get down on the ground when he's in the open field. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a run with Singletary. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. He was frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense, finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The last run got six, now second and four. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. That is caught at the seven yard line. That he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now the extra point. The extra point. Oh, 
And it's 7-0 Buffalo. That time, a six-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24. And for the New York Jets, a familiar refrain here in 2020, dominated again in week five, this time at the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. 30 to 10, the Jets falling at home and now 0 and 5. That's the first time since 1996 they finished that season 1 and 15. But Joe Flacco, Charles, he subs for the injured Sam Darnold, making his first start as a Jet. And I believe, I think, gosh, probably first start since week eight of last year as a Bronco, right? Yeah, you're exactly right. And, you know, he couldn't get a whole lot going. 195 yards and a touchdown. They got Le'Veon Bell back, but this team right now, let's face it, they're going nowhere fast. Major League struggles. Now, schedule changes have kicked in for them. So now this week, They'll play at the Dolphins, then they're home for Buffalo, and then at Kansas City. I'm not sure where I'm seeing the light for this team. Most of us thought, damn, the Dolphins would be very competitive. Right now, the Dolphins look like a decided favorite. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. A shotgun snap for Darnold. The throw left side complete to Hogan. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's third and seven. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Allen. And this will be incomplete. A physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, switching gears for a second. Uh, look, Charles, we know it's part of the game, but injuries, again, a big story in week five. Most notably, of course, Dak Prescott. Pretty severe ankle injury that's going to keep him out the remainder of the season. And that's really just the latest in what has been a tough, tough year already. Gosh, you could probably build an all-pro team, Charles, with some of the guys who have gone down. Yeah, an all-pro team, and at worst, a Pro Bowl team, because you're talking about names like 
Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants. Cortland Sutton with Denver. Marlon Mack, Indianapolis. Nick Bosa, San Francisco. All of them injuries that have them lost for the year. Michael Thomas got hurt in the season opener with New Orleans. We haven't seen him since. Nick Chubb with Cleveland on, the, on IR. Christian McCaffrey with Carolina. They've all missed significant time, so it's been a tough year for injuries. Some teams are playing around them better than others, and we'll see how it goes the rest of the year, but we wish all these guys who are hurt a speedy recovery. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. First down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Allen now on first down. He'll run it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. throw with Allen rolling to his left and now he's going to use his legs and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. from the gun sliding out of the pocket give him a couple on the scramble it's second down he was able to get away earlier in the drive but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front didn't it they remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one and the ball smacked down on the five yard line here's second and goal and now they'll throw with Allen Eluding the pressure, hammering for the goal line. He loses the football, and the Jets have recovered. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. New York ready to go again offensively. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Second and inches. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. Takes this about five yards deep, and the half will begin with a touchback. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Darnold. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there here's the Jets punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. John Brown with the reception. What a year he had in 2019. Had his first 1,000-yard season since 2015 and had the most catches in his career as well with 72. A very dangerous target both downfield and in the short areas where he can make the catch and make people miss. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, Allen throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. That'll bring up second down. Well, as we normally do, let's look ahead to what's to come here in the NFL for week six. Some changes to the schedule in this most unusual season, but CD, I've earmarked a few here. I've got Cleveland and Pittsburgh, Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Of course, that's going to be a lot of fun. Arizona, Dallas, Monday night, and then you got Buffalo KC moved from Thursday to Monday to account for Buffalo playing on 
on Tuesday in week five. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start with that one because that Buffalo-Kansas City game, as you mentioned, was originally a Thursday night feature game. Then they moved it to Sunday, and then they had to move it to Monday because of the juggling of the schedule in this most unusual season. Arizona-Dallas Monday night, that feels like an old-school kind of a game, doesn't it? And now we'll have Andy Dalton, at quarterback for Dallas, and Green Bay-Tampa Bay, that's simple. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, and Cleveland-Pittsburgh, how great is this now to feel like it's the old AFC North battle with Cleveland fully in the fight? So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Yards to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Bills 10, Jets nothing. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own, the New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Hogan. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. But well, one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. On first down, it's goal. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. 
at their 49-yard line. And that's going to do it. Clock hit zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and five. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. 16 yards, a first down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 35-yard line. Back to throw, Darnold. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Intercepted by the Bills. Scoring has really been at a premium. And Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. Quick slant to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. First down, Bill. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. First down, Singletary on the stop there defensively. Marcus May with the tackle. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down. It's Moss, and he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. 
And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Oh, man. Can't do that. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Singletary again, and he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Face mask. Defense. Oh, why are we doing this? Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. They go right back to Singletary. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Maybe the turning point they need. Marcus. Marcus May with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Two-score game here in the fourth. And that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does. And you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. After the interception, here's Darnold. He finds Pirine out of the backfield. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And we 
see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Micah Hyde. It's intercepted by the Bills. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 10-yard line. come to the line to start their next drive and they've got this one in hand no timeouts remaining defensively so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes and brought down but not before they're able to get it up to the 25 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely first down 15 first down buffalo So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuffed to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.